Let me ask you, is Urban enjoying himself this year in your mind? I think so. Coach is coach. I know, uh, I know he's been dealing with uh, headaches and stuff, but um, to be honest, I don't, I don't really notice the change or, or anything like that. Uh, he loves Ohio State, lo loves us. And we, we can definitely tell that. Hey, Jordan, Urban said today he thinks you guys have gotten the tackling problems fixed over the last week. What did you guys do during the bye week to tackle that issue? So to speak. Uh, so to speak. Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> It's, 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 a lot of it has to do with angles, so we work on that kind of stuff, and we've done a lot of tackling drills too, just a lot of tackling as well. So, so yeah, that's. that's you said, really you said in the past you're one of the better guys with angles. Do you talk to your teammates about those? You know, the, the need to be where you have to be every single moment. Oh yeah, it's important, but I also think it, it comes with just, uh, just experience, um, knowing where to be and stuff like that. So uh, yeah. But uh, th this week I see a big improvement. Does it, does, is Saturday afternoon a, like, do you look at it as sort of a test for you guys again to, to prove to folks that, uh, you know, y'all have gotten some things figured out, Jordan? I mean, going into a game like this, obviously Nebraska's got a pretty good offense, you know, mm -hmm. going on right now. But do you feel yeah, like you're kind of like taking as a team, taking a test again, you know? Yeah, I mean, uh, every Saturday that we play is a test. But, uh, but really, we're not a, really concerned with uh, the outside noise. Uh, we block all that out and just worry about us. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and yeah, just proving to ourselves. Jordan, how how did you guys use that off day? It, some guys probably needed to get fresh, but you guys were also leading Purdue saying you needed to fix stuff. Mm -hmm. Was it, were they like training camp practices? Were they normal practices? How did you guys manage it? Um, I would say normal practices, but I'll just say the intensity and um, it's definitely, you can see just a little change. Is it, po yeah, is it possible that you know a loss can be a wake up call or you know, add some of that urgency back in for you guys? If that's maybe that's not not the way you view it, but yeah. I mean, I, I definitely think that's what it does. But uh, to be honest, before I, th I think our urgency was was really good too. It just uh, you see, it just took on a whole another level. Gotcha. But, um, but yeah. Jordan, uh, Coach Giano last week was. Talking about the missed tackles just seemed like couldn't believe how many you guys had yeah. against Purdue. Was there something in particular about Purdue? Was it like Chase and Rondale Moore? Was it something of in that game that led to so many missed tackles? Or was it some was it more of a problem with the defense that you had to fix? Or was it just like a trying to game plan against them? Um Well obviously uh Rondale Moore he's a he's a very talented player. But um but I would say the game was feeling bad, and I think a lot of guys put a lot of pressure on themselves to try to go make plays and stuff like that. And I think that's where a lot of the missed tackles came from. I think I don't think it was any like thing about scheme. Or okay, like, like when you get behind a little bit, and then you're trying to like maybe blow somebody up, or like you're you're right, like you, you try to do too much sometimes. Okay. Uh, yeah. Uh, so how do y'all settle that down going into this week? I mean, what's what's the watchword? I guess. I mean, but. About um, not do, not playing that way, you know. It's really just doing your job, and uh, when you have an opportunity to make a tackle, go go make it. Yeah. Oh, when you watch uh, Nebraska on video, uh, Mar Martinez seems to be getting more healthy by the minute. Their quarterback and stuff. What just jumps out at you about them offensively? They, he's a dual threat guy. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Um, well, the quarterback he he can do it all. Um, throw pass. Uh, I mean, uh, throw and run. Yeah. And then uh, the receivers are really good too. So uh, running backs. So. We definitely got a big challenge on Saturday. When you've got a guy like that, like Martinez, that can get to the edge on that option, where they run a lot of some, they've been running a lot more option the last couple of weeks and stuff. What's just you as a safety? What, what's what do you have to keep in mind on those kind of plays? Uh, if it gets to me, go tackle it. Really, uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't think too deep into it. But uh, yeah, it's, it's really more really of a responsibility, good. kind of like for each player, like you're talking about a while right, ago, yeah. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, when you talk about option and stuff, that's. That's more like most of like our, our linebackers and D-line and stuff. But yeah. I mean, if it gets to me, go make a play. Uh, J.D. Spillman, the kid, the wide receiver, uh, good yeah. return guy too. What just jumps out at you about him, Jordan, from your vantage point? Oh, uh, well, last year when we played them, uh, I was playing nickel the whole first half. So, I mean, I, I'm pretty familiar with him. He's he's really talented. I think he was a freshman last year. Right? Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, yeah, really talented guy. Um, quick and fast. So, so yeah, we, we definitely got to – Jordan, you guys have always talked about how 
you have to treat each game the same and take it one week at a time. Was there any part of for you all that the Billy Price talked last year that you could go out and win some rings after the Iowa game? Is there any talk about that still being on the table for you guys this month, going out and winning a championship? Well, yeah, I think uh, as a defense, we're looking at at the rest of the season as just a clean slate, just a four-game season. Um, really just taking it as that. Um, we can't change the past, but we can definitely control our future. So. You said you played nickel against J.D. Smilman last year. What if for whoever's going to play nickel against him, primarily play against J.D. Smilman, who, who would you say or what kind of things would you, in terms of advice, what would you give to guarding a guy like J.D. Smilman? Um, I would say uh, he enjoys space, though, so don't give it to him, basically. <laughs> Are there a lot of similarities between Purdue's offense and Nebraska's, Nebraska's offense in terms of what um, they make you guys do? I mean, I feel like just college, like every college college football offense just gives you similar problems. Um, they try to spread you out and um, make you make one-on-one one -on -one plays. So, uh, so yeah, we just got to be ready for that. Nebraska has enough skill to obviously make things difficult for you guys, right? Yeah, no doubt. Yeah, really good. Really good players. When you hear the name Alex Alex Grinch, what kind of comes to mind? Like, what's Coach Grinch kind of brought to the table for you guys this year? Man, I'll say... <clears throat> Whenever it comes to mindset, he's he's who I go to just to get my mind right. Um, I don't know. He he just he just always hits you with something like it's like wow yeah like I needed that. So so yeah he he helps me a lot and, and in terms of technique and scheme like he has all the answers too. So so yeah he really valuable. It's his first year here. Obviously, did you guys click like right away? Like you and Coach Grinch, or did kind of kind of take a while? Yeah, I mean. Um, we met a few times just going over like my film of last year and then right off the bat I just I just saw how knowledgeable he was and just like like I said with the mindset stuff like he was already talking to me about that kind of stuff then so it's really just progressed not like Jordan what do you see in Nebraska's offense what do you think are the biggest ways around <coughs> you guys um I think they, they just have so many ways they can attack you so um from the D-line to the linebackers to safeties and cor corners, um, we all have to be ready. It's a big test. What you Sean Wade's been moving around, a corner, nickel, safety, a little bit of everything. Just to, how do you feel like he's playing, especially trying to do so many different roles? No, I, I really think he's coming along. Um, whether it's at safety, nickel, corner, I mean, he, he can really do it all. He's one of our most versatile guys on the whole team. So, uh, so he's just, he's just got to keep going. What are your thoughts about the uniforms this weekend? I love them. Uh, just a little change up, uh, something fresh, uh, and they look good to me. And um, I'm ready to see them in person, though, and put them on for sure. Two more questions. What do you think are the specific things that you guys <laughs> need to do better as a defense to, to really show progress coming out of the bye week? Um, just doing your job and finishing plays. That's all I can really say. Yeah. Do you think that's what's led to the big plays against you guys? People not doing their job, people not finishing their plays? I say yeah. I mean, it's a combination of stuff, but I think that's that's a big part of it. Thanks, Jordan. Thanks, Jordan. Thanks, Jordan. Thanks, Jordan.